Today, we will be teaching about ionic product, solubility product, also known as KSP, and solubility. The definition of ionic product is the product of the concentration of the ions of a sparingly soluble salt. Note that the ions can come from different sources. KSP is the property of a sparingly soluble salt that is dependent only on temperature. Solubility is the maximum amount of salt that can dissolve in 1 dm cube of solution. A saturated solution is then formed where the ionic product equals to KSP, units of solubility is moles per dm cube. Ionic product changes with changing reactant concentrations and may be smaller, equal to, or greater than KSP. KSP remains constant at constant temperature. Solubility will decrease in the presence of common ions but otherwise remains constant. So now that we know what ionic product, KSP and solubility are, let's go on to look at a series of four solutions designed to highlight some important concepts. We have a salt, AgCl. It is sparingly soluble and can dissolve to give us Ag plus ions and Cl minus ions. Note that the reaction is reversible. To keep things simple, we will just let KSP of AgCl be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 10 moles square dm minus 6. Now, imagine that we have a solution A that has a volume of 1 dm cube. We then put in 1 times 10 to the power of minus 5 moles of AgCl solid. It will dissolve to give 1 times 10 to the power of minus 5 moles of Ag plus ions and Cl minus ions respectively. From this, we can see that the ionic product which is the product of the concentration of ions in the solution at that instant, would be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 10 moles square dm minus 6. The KSP in this case happens to be of the same numerical value. Since the ionic product equals to KSP, it means that solution A is a saturated solution of AgCl. The solubility of AgCl in solution A is then 1 times 10 to the power of minus 5 moles per dm cube since all the salt dissolved to form a saturated solution. Now, we have another solution, solution B. This time round, we put in less AgCl, 1 times 10 to the power of minus 8 moles. The ionic product would then be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 16 moles square dm minus 6. The KSP is the same as solution A, 1 times 10 minus 10 as KSP is only affected by temperature. As the ionic product is less than the KSP, no precipitation would occur and all the AgCl would dissolve. Note that solubility also remains constant. Since solution B is not saturated yet, more AgCl can be dissolved until a saturated solution is obtained. Moving on to the third solution, solution C. This time, we put in 100 times more AgCl, 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3. The ionic product would be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6. KSP remains the same as the previous cases. We can see that now, the ionic product exceeds the KSP, leading to precipitation of some AgCl. The precipitated AgCl, which is in solid state, will be in equilibrium with the saturated solution and no more salt can be dissolved. Solubility is still the same as that of solutions A and B, 1 times 10 to the power of minus 5 moles per dm cube. Concept test, are you able to work out the amount of the remaining solid AgCl? Hint, an ICE table might help. The answer is 100 times 10 negative 5 minus 1 times 10 negative 5 equal 99 times 10 negative 5. Using a fourth solution, Solution D, we will now demonstrate the concept of common ion effect, which states that solubility of a sparingly soluble salt decreases in the presence of a common ion. This is easily explained using Le Chatelier's principle. Since there is more of the common ion on the right-hand side of the equation, the equilibrium will shift left to compensate, resulting in solubility decreasing. We add in 1 times 10 minus 5 moles of AgCl, the same as solution A. But this time, we also put in 0.1 moles of NaCl. These two salts have a common chloride anion. In such scenarios, we typically assume that the amount of Cl- ions contributed by AgCl is negligible compared to that contributed by NaCl. 
so when calculating ionic product, we take the concentration of Cl- to be 0.1 instead of 0.10001. The ionic product would then be 1 times 10 minus 6. Ksp remains the same at constant temperature. Since the ionic product is greater than Ksp, precipitation of AgCl would occur. We will now proceed to demonstrate how solubility of AgCl has decreased. Before we start, recall that when precipitation occurs, as seen in solution C, the precipitate is in equilibrium with a saturated solution, i.e. ionic product equals to Ksp. Using this expression, we now substitute 0.1 for the concentration of chloride. Ksp is constant at 10 negative 10. Ag plus concentration is hence 10 negative 9 moles per dm cube. Note that we always substitute the common ion into the ionic product expression. This is because solubility of AgCl has changed and we can no longer be sure of the Ag plus concentration. Secondly, we now equate Ag plus concentration to the solubility of AgCl as they are in a 1 is to 1 stoichiometric ratio. We cannot use Cl- concentration as it is contributed by both AgCl and NaCl. Lastly note that the new solubility of AgCl in the presence of NaCl is 10,000 times lower than that of AgCl alone, therefore confirming the law of common ion.